so today we're going to go over um, a few, well, the main types of DNA replication. So, Now, um, the t there are three main types of DNA replication that uh, I'm going to talk about today. And I want you guys to keep in mind when I'm talking about these types of replication is that this is just a general overview of how DNA um, replicates itself. So if you have a parent strand, which is your template strand, and how it gives rise to a daughter strand or a replication um, of itself okay so so that's what we're going to be talking about so this so the first type um, of replication we're going to look at is um, is conservative Okay, so we're going to talk about conservative replication, and basically what that is, and the best way for me to do it is to draw it out, is let's say, let's say I have a parent strand, okay, and let's say for all of, all of the types of replications I'm going to talk about, my parent strand is going to be in green, okay, so this is going to be my parent strand, okay, so when DNA synthesis occurs at the end in a conservative type of replication, what you're going to result in is one copy of the parent being exactly as it was, and one copy of the replicated um, DNA being in red. Okay, so this is the parent, this is what was originally done, and so what happens is that this red one, uh, this red DNA, which is the newly synthesized DNA, um, is copied from the parent, parental one. And what happens is that the parental, so it's a double helix, it's a double helix, and what happens is that the two strands of the parent unwinds, and each strand is replicated, and creates this uh, new strand in red. And so then the two strands rewind themselves again in return. Um, so so basically, as speaking, it's um, the new parent. The the strands are conserved. Okay, just like the name tells us. The second type of DNA we're going to look at um, is the most common type, and it's called semi-conservative. Okay, so what semi-conservative replication is, is that it has, in the double helix, one of the strands is an old strand of the parent, and the other strand is a new strand. Well, yeah, so basically, you'll understand when I draw it out, is that if I have um, this parent over here being original, these, the two strands are going to completely unwind, and so one of the strands... So you're going to have your two strands completely unwound, and then it's going to replicate itself and create the new strand. Okay, so as you can see, you're going to have one strand um, being an old strand, which is a parental strand, and the other strand, which is in red, is going to be your newly synthesized strand. And it's important to consider that this type is the most common type of replication that you will see. Okay. The last type of replication, of DNA replication, is called dispersive. Okay. 
And dispersive replication is when the original strand, when one strand has both the parental and new, um, newly synthesized DNA in it. So, for example, like always, this parent strand unwinds and what happens is it creates, um, it synthesizes a new DNA. And so one of the strands, you can see, is going to have both. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So, and then you could, we could, uh, So there will be two of these that are formed. I'm just not going to draw it out because it takes too much time. But um, I don't want you guys to get semi-conservative and dispersive confused with one another because they are very different. In dispersive, it's the least common type of replication um, that you will observe in a cell. And so the difference, the main difference to remember is that one strand, you can see, contains both old and new, um, old and new uh, DNA, whereas in semi-conservative, there's just one whole strand that's old and one whole strand that's new. Okay? So one... And then in dispersive, which is the least common, um, one strand alone um, consists of both old and new DNA. Okay? So these are the main three types of uh, replications that you will observe um, in a DNA. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.